nah, nah, brother, sit this one out. Yeah, sit this one out. I got this one. This is Do You Hear Me with Love Jones. The Love Jones edition. That's right. Um, You know, you know this brother, old Unico Williams, I like him. He's a good brother. I like him a whole lot. But uh, let me tell you who is the real OG. It's me, Love Jones. See, uh, when old uh, Joseph was, uh, was a young boy, about second or third grade, you know, people used to come to him with advice. When I say people, people of his age used to come with him, come to him with some advice. They want some advice about how to deal with their relationships. That's right, yeah, that old girl over there, man, she looking good, but uh, she bought my man's a cookie the other day. Yeah, hurt my man's, and I gave the right advice, and, you know, they went three weeks strong. Now, you know, in elementary school, that's a long time. That's like a marriage, but, um, you know, he always wanted to have, oh, Joseph, he wanted to have a, a talk show where he would give folk advice about, about love and how they should love one another and all that. Yeah, yeah, he did that. And, um, you know, he wanted to grow up one day and have a show just for that. And uh, it turned into this whole, uh, do you hear me? We need to win. Turn all that. Y'all just forgot all about old Love Jones. But I ain't going to let you forget because I ain't go nowhere. So with that being said, I'm here to do, uh, you know, I'm, I'm, I'm going to answer a couple questions, you know, about love and all that. And then we're going to listen to some advice from some other people. We're going to see if I like it or not. Because you know it's your boy. Oh, Love Jones. Yeah, that's me. So our first question is, how can I get my boyfriend to take me on better dates? Mm. Well, baby, let me tell you. I'm going to tell you how you can get him to take you on better dates. You don't. You don't tell him nothing. Man, doing stuff like that, caring about somebody and, 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 and loving the, the look on their face and all that, that has to come from a want, a want to do. Now it was it was brought to my attention that you know they used to go out on dates, they used to go to you know go out to places and do things like that. Now they go order the order the Applebee's, and then and then they just go home and eat it, just like a regular old day. She want to sit at the Applebee's, so I'm gonna tell you like this here. You got to drop the hint, you know. Hey, can we sit down sometime? Let's sit down this time. Let's let's go in there and just mingle for a little bit. You gotta drop the hint. You know, you gotta throughout the course of the week, you gotta say, Yeah, I wanna I wanna do something. I wanna I wanna sit down. I wanna enjoy the ambiance, be around some people. I want folks to see us. I want them to see us. That's what you gotta do. You drop that hint. Now it's up to your partner to take that hint and do what they need to do. Well, what you feel they need to do, because each person can do what they want to do or feel like or do what they feel like is what needs to happen so no nah, honey it ain't nothing you can do other than let them let let somebody know what you want and do they act accordingly that's how that works that's it that's just it you know i know in my lifetime man sometimes you know i'll be i'll be with a lovely lady and i like her a whole lot yeah i like you a whole lot and um what makes me happiest and when i see that smile on your face ooh, when i see that smile on your face now you know i don't like going to sephora ain't nothing in there for me not at all ain't nothing in there shout out to my boy Gotti over there shaking his, shaking his tail feather um you know it, it's you know i didn't like going there but i did it you know, it's some things that I really don't like eating. I don't really like all that, you know, that. I ain't going to say I don't like vegan stuff, but it's not my first choice. But, baby, if you like it, girl, I'll make you a salad. And we eat that salad because it make you happy. And if making you happy is what makes me happy, we got something going. So that's my advice for you. My next one, my next question come from my homeboy, old Mo. Oh, Mo from Old Milwaukee. What's more important, loyalty or love? I can answer that one for you. It's a combination of the two. 
and it's a combination of the two. So look at two twos, right? Look at two twos. And I feel like if you love somebody, you're going to be loyal. And if you're loyal to somebody, you got to love them. I mean, that just makes sense. So you got one person on one end that that loves somebody, so they want to be loyal to them. And then you got this other side. The other side says, maybe they love you, but they don't want to be loved. Y'all got to be on the same accord. Same thing got to be going on. That's what you got to do. Um, Because when you love somebody, you'll do anything for them. And I believe that's the epitome of being loyal to somebody. And I feel like if you're loyal to somebody, you, you, you got to love them. It only makes sense. It only makes sense. So love or loyalty, it's a, it's even, it's even, it's they, they hand in hand. But can your partner be hand in hand with you? So that's a whole nother discussion. But at the end of the day, those two things are very, very equal. Let me see here. Let me go and check on this old Facebook here. Shout out to Facebook for giving people the outlet and the, you know, something where they can just reach out to people. See, they ain't had that back in old, them old Love Jones days. You know, people have to come to you face to face and ask you something. Now they can ask you something from all the way from the other side of the world. All the way from cross town, they can ask you a question. Um, Matter of fact, speaking all the way from cross town, all the way up north, my homegirl Mandy, she says she has some advice for us. Um, Communicate. And this is how to make a relationship last. Communicate. Be selfless. Be brutally honest. And encourage each other to better themselves and pursue dreams and passions. But if the couple isn't compatible and doesn't vibe together, no amount of those things I listed above will make for a happy relationship. You can put in a ton of work, but if the chemistry just isn't there, it won't work. And vice versa. Even if there is a ton of chemistry, but no effort put into the relationship, it's going to suffer. Well, I'm here to tell you, Mandy. I know that's right. Yeah, that's right. Because, you know, you can't, you can't, you can't put nothing together if it's not equal. It's not, if it's not equal, it, it's, it's never going to work out, man. If you put in so much passion and, and all that into your relationship and the other person is not reciprocating that, you got a problem on your hands. And I'm going to tell you like this, you dealing with somebody that you probably ain't got no business dealing with. That's just how that would, that's how that would work in that situation. You know, I feel like I do things and, 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 oh, and oh, oh, Joe, he, oh, he, he, he big singer at this point. I, I, I know the man, I met him, I met him back there in, the, in, you know, in the production meetings. Yeah, he big singer, but it's because he wants somebody to give him what he give them. Do you hear me? And I like his style. I like his style. He he got his head in the right place. But we'll talk about that old single stuff later. But you got to be, you got to be equal. That's just it. Y'all got to come together. Where I fall, pick me up. And when I'm on the up, I'm grabbing your hand and you coming with me. Do you hear me? That's how that go. That's how that goes. Um. So, I, I Mandy, that's a good one. I love it. You, you know what you're talking about. Shout out to that wedding. Can't wait to go. Um, next up, I got my boy, oh, 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 Bambino. This is what he said here. Let's see what he's talking about. So he has said, here's the Bambino tip for everybody listening out there. If it's not working and you don't know, but you put the effort in during, during the good and the bad, it might just be time to look at them and say, what are we doing? What are we doing? Nothing else, just look at them and say, what are we doing? And they might tell you what they're thinking, which could lead to a good or lead to a bad outcome. You know, it didn't work out for me, but maybe it'll work out better for some of y'all. I like that, Barry. Once again, and it's, it, it, it seems to be a continuing, uh, 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 you know, a continuous theme here. It's that communication, being on the same page, what I'm trying to do and what you're trying to do. Is it 
is that what we own? Like, are we on the same page? That's how that works, man. Because you can expect something out of one person. And then that person that you're expecting that out of, they might not be expecting the same thing. Y'all got to talk about that. And then this is the most crucial part. Once that person tells you what they what they want, what they expect, you got to say, do I want to live with that and go with those expectations? Or do those meet what I want? Is that what I want to do? Okay, you just trying to kick it. All right, that's cool. But is that really cool? Or do you want something more out of it? That's what you have to ask yourself. Oh, love Jones. Yeah, I've been in a couple. Of, I've been I've been with some cuties. I've, I've been with a few cutie pies. Oh, yeah. But you know, it wasn't exactly meant to be. And sometimes I had to say, you know, we ain't trying to really go there. Um, I like what we're doing. I enjoy what we have. And I like to continue this. Oh, you want to go there? I ain't really trying to go there. And, you know, the same thing happened to me. You know, I felt distraught. I felt a little bad about it because, you know, they wanted to keep it at this thing. And I wanted to go there. Let's see what we can do. But it don't always happen like that. And sometimes people are in different paths and different seasons in their life. Now, you have to be willing to accept that. And as, as much as the thought of where you want to be, you know, where y'all, where you want y'all to be is a beautiful and pleasing thought. You got to be ready to, to understand that people ain't y'all just sometimes you just not on the same page. That's just how it works. Accept that. Be ready and know that it's not your fault because they rock with you the way that they rock with you for a reason. And so they don't make you a bad person. They don't make you bad at what you do. Just sometimes y'all just ain't y'all 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 ain't there. You know, y'all ain't there. It happens. OK, it's cool. Don't ever get down on yourself for not being on the same page with somebody because you might be ready for something and they might be ready for something else. You might be ready for something and they might be ready for something else. And that's just how that works. And let them do what they do. And you keep it moving and keep your eye on the prize. Let's see. Let me keep it going. I got an old message from old Cody. Old Cody, Cody Wayne Bennett. His advice is, both parties have to continually work on themselves, but each party has to be willing to carry the other's baggage, be supported, but don't allow yourself to be unhappy. For instance, someone might think you're cheating on them. Most people will say that means the person making the statement is cheating, but the reason they are saying that is because the person has trust issues. So the other person needs to be supported, and the person with the baggage has to be willing to work on it, or the relationship won't last. Let me drink on this. Let me let me let me hit this wine real quick. Hmm. This comes down to a decision that people need to make. And that decision that you make is you know that somebody's dealing with something. And you care about them. You care about them a whole lot. So you hang in there and you deal with it. And you try your best to help guide them through that. But sometimes some battles are meant for some people to just handle by themselves. Or oh, with a therapist or something like that. But that's on their own accord, off of their own resources. You can do the best that you can to try and help and, and be there. But sometimes you are not the answer. And I've seen, I've seen it the other side. Where... There was the supportive partner that was there and was willing to help and all that cool stuff. And it turned out just great. And then there's other people where, you know, it's nothing you can do. There's nothing you can do. And you have to be willing to accept that you can or can't help. You know, you got to be willing. Like if if you aren't able to pull them out of whatever that you're trying to pull them out of. Don't be mad at yourself because that's not your battle. You, you're you there to support and help the best you can. In a minute, it looks like what you're doing is not helping. It's not doing anything. It's, if anything, it's exasperating the problem. You got to let that thing go. And that's I think that's the point he was trying to make, you know, being supportive until a point where you can't. It's making you unhappy to do it. 
Some people got to handle stuff on their own. And that's just what it is. You can't save everybody. You hear that in there, Unico? Yeah, I be seeing there trying to trying to save everybody, trying to help everybody the best you can. But some people got to deal with things themselves, and maybe y'all find yourselves together once that other person is willing to, you know, be in that situation and accept your guidance and all that stuff, and let those demons go that may have been haunting y'all whole relationship. But you gotta be willing to say it's okay. I did my best. Leave it all on the court. I know he would say that. Do the best that you can. If you didn't win, it's all good. Go back in the lab and keep on doing the best you can. Believe in you as a lover. Believe in you as a lover. Um, My homegirl, old Nikki, she got a little something to say. Compassion, commitment, and compromise. There is no relationship without all three. Show compassion for your partner in their time of need. Commit to them making you make commit to making them your number one priority and compromise on decisions and ideas. All these show respect towards your partner and without respect, you got nothing. I know that's right. Um, I'm not sure. I think there is a season for making something or someone your number one priority. There's a time for it. And you have to find that time, fill it out, and then do what you can. You know, I've been watching old Unico play old Kakarot, man. A lot of things that they say is do do what you can. They don't say do your best or give it your all. They say do what you can. Do what you can. And, you know, do what you can without losing self. Because if you lose self, then, you know, you're on your own journey. So don't stumble on your path. Trying to, trying to, trying to, trying to hang on to somebody else's path. Don't go, don't slow down on your path because you're trying to, you know, hang on to somebody in their path. Because, you know, when you can, when you see an obstacle, you'll jump over it. But when they see an obstacle, maybe they're at the point where they got to break down because they ain't strong enough to get through that. It can make you resent somebody. It can make you feel like somebody that you love. I don't love you anymore. Like, like Tyler, uh, the creator said. On Igor, cold album, love it. But definitely, you know, find that spot, do what you can, and understand if you need to move on, man, you got to put yourself first in a lot of situations. Do what you can and keep it moving. So when you do what you can and you keep it moving, and then, you know, that it's not moving in a direction that is fruitful for you, you have to keep it moving because this is a big world we live in. Do you hear me? And it's a lot of girls that love old, old love jams. And it's a lot of it, it, it's, it's, it's a lot of males out there that love these women. It's a lot of good dudes out there that want to be with these women, but y'all hold on to brothers that's, you know, maybe they ain't they ain't ready to go where you trying to go. Vice versa. Keep your eye on your prize and only do things that are productive for what you want to do. That's my advice on that. Cody, not bad. I can't I can't completely, you know. I mean, you know, I can't completely jump on that. Shout out to Nikki, because that was your yeah, that was your comment. My fault. Um I got a little uh, uh side side note here. Uh I don't I don't even care anymore. I just get a piece of D and keep it moving. Well, if that's what you want, then that's what you want. If that's where you at in your life, that's what you want to do. All I say in that situation, be careful. Be careful. Be careful. Um, you know, we, we're in a we're in a society now where, you know, sexuality and all that stuff and you know, a lot of that stuff, the old the old ways is kinda out the out the window, you know, where back in the day, you know, I know me myself when I was young and didn't really know much about the world. It was just me and my video games. I said I always wanted to just I married me an old light skinned virgin. That's 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 what I had going on. That was my whole fantasy growing up. That's what's gonna happen to me. And I was gonna be one too. Child, it don't always work out like that. And everybody's a little active in what they do, and that's all good. And you know, people have divorces and, and multiple marriages and. 
all that type of stuff. All I can say to that is just, just, just be careful, be safe, and you know, make it worth it. I would say make it worth it. See, I don't just be going around laying around with just any old body. You know, I always, ha I've always been with the mindset that if I'm gonna lay down with you, if, if, if. If I lay down with you, I gotta be prepared for you to have my old my old baby, man. To have have me a child. I gotta be prepared for that 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 outcome. So just know, you know, if I lay down with you, I'm prepared for that outcome. You know, that but that's me. But if somebody out there for the thrills, you know, the ladies, y'all got the birth control and all that cool stuff going on. If y'all just laying with folks doing what y'all do, man, there's that disease aspect of it. Be cool, man. Be cool. Be safe. That's what you got to do. Uh, Dom was, who's going to be a part of my show here. Uh, she's going to be a segment, if you will. Uh, she got a little segment called Let It Dawn On You. And she's going to speak to the women and she's going to speak to whoever. You know, she's going to drop some OG knowledge on all that. We're going to listen and see what she got to say. She brought up something about, you know, how do I feel about, you know, men or women uh, cheating. Or, you know, stepping out the, outside the relationship. This is how I feel about it. Um, you wouldn't want nobody doing that to you. And that's, that's I mean, that's where I feel. And, you know, people, people love people. People love each other and all that cool stuff. And sometimes you just step outside a relationship. Now, every girl that I, every woman that I've ever dated, they can never tell you that I cheated on them because I didn't. I've never cheated on any female that I've ever been with. Now, don't get me wrong. Uh, I'm an entertainer. <laughs> I am an entertainer. You know, people like to talk to me. You know, I like to talk back. But I don't be doing nothing. I don't, I don't, I don't cross no lines. I don't do nothing like that. But um, at the end of the day, it goes back to that communication aspect of it and being right there, you know, on the same page. Cause I ain't gonna, I'm not gonna put myself in a situation. Cause when I when I look at a relationship, that means I'm working on these are tryouts for us to be together. That's where I'm at with that. And if we together, I can't, you know, I'm not, I'm gonna, I'm gonna basically you, you it's 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 a dress rehearsal for being together forever. So, your actions while we doing this dress rehearsal, that mean a lot to me. Do you hear me? So, that's a big part of it. So, make sure you invest that you know what you're getting yourself into and the person that you're cheating with, you know, make sure it's worth it because you lose that person that you call yourself being with over something that might be temporary or something like that. Y'all better leave that alone. And uh, Don and I, we're going to have that conversation. We'll talk about it. And it, it is what it is. I can't wait till her segment. Let it dawn on you. Oh, you Nico going to talk to her. I ain't going to talk to her. I ain't got nothing to say to her about that. Because it's love, Jones. I do this. Um, um, I got one last thing from old Miss Carmen. Uh, she said, I know it's late. I just want a boyfriend. But I don't know how to get one. <clears throat> Excuse me for a second. Uh, I'm going to get a little comfortable here. <clears throat> Carmen. You don't need to, uh, you know, I don't know what type of fellas you was dealing with in the past. Uh, shout out to my dogs in there. I need them to chill out. Uh, you need to go get them dogs together or we're going to have to get in the palace. Um, Carmen, you big business. You're beautiful. You know, we, we've had passing conversation. And um, you all right in my book. You just got to make sure that keep your standards high. And do what you gotta do, um, and pick. I I I just feel like I apologize. My dog's about to go in the palace if they keep on carrying on like this. I think they need to get in the cage, baby. Get in the palace. All right, it's cool, Carmen. I'm sorry. 
I got to get them together sometime. Um, but, man, you're an amazing woman. You're amazing. And I think that just keep on doing what you do and keep that standard for yourself how you want to keep it. You know, pick what you want and don't chase nothing but, but that. And sometimes you ain't got to chase nothing because sometimes it'll just pop up on you. <laughs> you know, it might just slide in your DM. It might be right under your nose. You never know. But that's it. I love me some y'all. But before I get get into this, I got to do one last question. They want to know, why am I single? I'm going to tell you why. I got all this advice. I, why are you single? You got all this advice. You got all this to offer, all that. I'm going to tell you. Time is a luxury, in my opinion. Time is a luxury. And I believe that you ain't got nothing to waste because you only got one life to live. So I can count on one hand how many girlfriends I've had. And it's because I, I chose them because I thought at that point in my life, that's what I wanted. And, uh, you know, I could say in my last situation, you know, it was pretty perfect. It was a good situation. And then it just, it was gone. It happens. Because sometimes you can be in different seasons of your life. And you just like, damn, if I had met you earlier, or damn, if I had met you a few years down the line, we would be good. But it happens. And so I try my best to, to rock with people that, are where I'm at in life, where I'm trying to do, you know, that same goal that I'm trying to push. Somebody that's trying to push me and somebody that I can push and we, we, we reciprocate that. You know, I want that whole, you know, wake up in the morning, go get them, baby. You better go get them. And I want to hear the same thing to me. And that's just how I go. So I'm single because I'm picky. Because I don't want to waste anybody's time. I don't want to waste anybody's time, and I don't want anybody to waste mine. And, you know, I can say I've been guilty of holding on to something longer than I should have because I'm like, damn, I see it. It's right there. I know I can make it happen. But once again, that same page, that same level stuff, are you there? Are we here? Are we here? Am I there? Are you there? Are we here? Am I there? Are you there? Are we here? here that's what it comes down to for me so that's how i answer that question that's why i'm single because i'm not about to play with nobody time and i ain't about to let nobody play with mine well, that's it for this week's episode of do you hear me shout out to my boy unico williams he'll be back next week talking about all that stuff he be talking about like he done moved on from me okay it's all good I ain't studying him, to be honest. It's all good. But uh, thank you for tuning in. Uh, you already know the deal, man. You can always follow my boy, Nico Williams, U-N-I-Q-O underscore Williams on Twitter, and U-N-I-Q-O Williams, Unico Williams on everything else. Facebook is Unico Joe Jones Williams. Holla at your boy. Also, they got Unico Williams, the fan page. We about to go ahead and ramp that thing back up. Um. Black History Month basketball game. Uh, this is the sixth one. It's hosted by Unico Williams as well. It's going down. We got uh, we, we got oh, 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 pretty C. Oh, we got her performing at this one. Oh, I'm excited to see that. I get front row seats on this one. We got her. It's going down, man. So uh, definitely tune in next week. We're gonna do a roster reveal show. That's coming up. Uh, the roster will be, will be review uh, revealed very soon. Coming up for February 23rd, the Black History Month All-Star Game is going down. So you know. Wait, wait, what's that? What's that stuff you be saying? Oh yeah, I got it. That boy needs some help. I holla.